as part of writing my book, I got to interview a guy called Stuart Brand. Now, he was one of the original Merry Pranksters. Um, these guys that had hung around with Ken Kesey, the author of One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, and uh, that Tom Wolfe had written about in the electric Kool-Aid acid test, these kind of acid uh, experimenters, 60s hippies. Now, Brand is really interesting because he not only grokked, as we say in like, computer terms, he not only grokked what was going on with personal computers in the 1960s in California really early on, and in fact switched from LSD to computers in terms of where he was putting his faith in for society, but he was also, he runs this thing called the Global Business Network, mm. which consults with major oil companies and uh, the United States military and helps them think about the future. You know, maybe it's great that intelligent and switched on people are doing this, but it's also kind of suspect and it's certainly what my generation hold that generation most um, to account for in terms of how the ideals of the 1960s really failed to play out into a better equal society through the 80s and 90s and into the time that we live in now. And yeah, sure, there were a bunch of hippies on the net, there were a bunch of great, Grateful Dead fans around the whole Earth Electronic Link, the well which Brand founded. But for me and my generation, I'm not sure that we were uh, that aware of that pedigree. I think we came to the net fresh, looking at it as an alternative to that kind of individualism uh, that the hippies of the 1960s had espoused. Because I think when you think about the network world and you think about everyone being connected to each other, you can begin to imagine a kind of collectivism that, um, you know, cooperation, maybe even collaboration, that you know looks like a social alternative that looks like something exciting and new and that's certainly what i found the hackers at um, the chaos communications camp and the chaos communications congress thinking about and acting on and really doing incredible stuff back then in 2009